Hello, this is Atuba and Gloria George, and we are so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have a lot to share with you, but before we go on, we want to call for the daily bread. Are you ready? Join us now as we declare, say, Father, Father today, today. I demand, I demand and, I and I receive my daily, my bread. daily bread. It's coming right now. It's coming right now. In Jesus', In Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Just just go on and share what's in your spirit. Yesterday. And share with us. We, yeah. we wrapped up yesterday. We're talking about consistency. Yeah. You know, being consistent with the commands that you receive from the Lord concerning your household. Being consistent also, like let's let's quickly go back to Genesis. Let's go back to Genesis. Same chapter 18. Yes, chapter 18. You know, when God said of Abraham, for I have known him in order that he may command his children and his household after him, that they may keep the way of the Lord oh. first. Being consistent, being deliberate, being intentional, that you as an individual, you are keeping the way of the Lord. And then you are also insisting that your family members keep the way of the Lord. Because that's the right way. That's the right way, insisting that this is true. Because, you know, as your children grow up, they will meet several people. They will mix up with, they will go to school. They will not always be inside the house. When you see them display some kind of attitudes or do some certain kind of things, as a parent, what do you do? Do you just leave them and say, okay, when they grow up, they will, they will overcome. That's why your daddy, that's why your mommy, you know the truth. You know the way that leads to life. And you also know the way that leads to destruction because now I'm talking to Christian parents someone that is submitted to the word of the Lord because we've been talking about this from the beginning that you have to be first submitted to the Lord it and doesn't it's end to be obvious yes to your that, children that you're submitted to the, to the Lord it's got to be obvious your your children your household must see the consistency that, in your yes, submission to the, to Lord. the Lord no double standard Today you are saying you this. You know, that's like we we're saying yesterday. What do they say about, about you? In the home, there are many decisions you take. Yes. You take financial decisions. Mm. You take decisions on relationship. Mm. However, you manage the home. Mm. They are just decisions you take. Mm. I'm thinking. God, in his wisdom, when the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt, you know what he told them? In, 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 I think that's Deuteronomy chapter 6. And he began to shock them. He says, all these words that I have commanded you, write it upon your doorpost. Mm -hmm. Put it on your wrist. wrist. Put it on your forehead. Put everywhere. And God said, so that when your children Ask you. It's an opportunity to yeah. tell them your history. Yeah. Now that's how you command them to keep the way of the Lord. So first of all, you have work to do. And two, importantly, you must keep the testimony of the Lord. What does God think concerning finances? Yes, so what is what does testimony? God think concerning health? Yes. That's keeping the way. If Lord. if something happens and you are not there, mm. maybe the parents are not there, just the children, and they want to take a decision, you know, they'll have to fall back on what would daddy or mommy have us to yeah. do. they have enough information Mission. to know what's to do? Now, for God to tell them that, look, I want you to write all these things. And he's not telling them to write it so that they don't forget. He says, write it so that when your children, God is so, so concerned about your children. children. When your children. Why is, 
all these writings. Right? You know, that's why the Lord told me one time, he said, I think it's important we talk about this. Okay. That anyone who's saying that God's children should not tithe mm -hmm. is walking by the spirit mm -hmm. of the Antichrist. There are traditions that the Lord have taught us to keep. Mm. Now, there is the physical, the physical part of those traditions, mm. and then there is the faith part, which people don't see. Mm. For example, no one will hear, well, no one will know your title. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? But someone can notice that every money you get, you remove That's something true. aside. Yeah. Now, when you keep that, and then you let your children, children and your household know, know that this is what you're doing. Now, not just tell them to tight. They see how you do it. Mm -hmm. They see you receive money and then you talk about the tight. And sometimes you even tight as a family, just like we do. Mm -hmm. We tight as a family. Mm -hmm. We don't do, I'm paying my tight, my wife is paying her tight. Mm -hmm. No, we, we tight as a family. Okay. Now, why are we doing that? We are bringing this culture in our home. So our children will grow up understanding perfectly mm -hmm. what tithing is all about. And they know. Not just that they know, they have been raised like that. Like that. Mm. Now that is God's weapon for blessing. Yes. Very vital. You can't be expecting the blessing of God without, without thinking of tithing. Mm. Because God is not just one God is not just about blessing you. He says mm -hmm. through you all, All the, the families, families of, the of the earth will be blessed. So you you bring them up understanding what you do. Mm. And just like we do when there is a testimony, we don't keep it to ourselves. We share it with them. When there's the, there's also the process of the testimony. Yes, when the process of the, of, of, yeah. they know everything. Yes, that means you are converse, always conversing with your children. You're always talking with your spouse. Now that you know, you're, God said, mm. write all these things so that when your children ask, ask you, you, so when they ask, you know, you know, you know the, what the picture that is in my head is. Okay. You know, the world gets civilized is civilization is increasing per mm -hmm. time. Now imagine this is this is your house and then you're writing scriptures on the doorpost. You're writing it everywhere. And then your children grow up and like, ah that this house is looking old school. We want to change some things and they want to that why are you writing all this writing everywhere? Sit son, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> It's like keeping the testimony of the Lord. Yeah. So you must deliberately keep, keep God's testimony. Mm. That's why there are certain things God have done for you that you must keep, leave a trail. Like look, so that in case you forget, yes. yeah. that thing will raise a question. And your children are going to ask you that, why are you doing this? Or why do you do this thing like this? Then you tell them, sit down. Before you were born. Praise <laughs> God. Yeah, that's what God intended. So, so they will remember to tell. But yeah. you don't have to wait for so long. Yeah. You can just develop the attitude of telling them Tell as it. the testimony is building. Just like we do. Just make your life burn before your household members. Personally, if I'm believing God for anything, we are believing God for anything. We know. We know. Our, Our children, children know. know. And when it comes, they see, they, see they, know. they know. So we are not hiding any part of our lives from them. If we make a mistake, we apologize. If we make a mistake in front of them, we make a mistake even while parenting them, we apologize. So they learn humility from us. They learn how to say I'm sorry because they can see that when you make a mistake as a parent, you can say I'm sorry because there are certain times that you have set a particular law or maybe a okay this is how you want things to be and as a parent you 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 default what do you do i'm daddy keep quiet i'm mommy you don't no you don't shut them you don't shut them up. sometimes they even pointing out to you daddy said we shouldn't shout you're shouting something as minute as that what do you do 
maybe you are upset at that point and then you keep shouting even when they're like ah daddy you're raising your voice you say we should do we should use indoor voice when we are inside and now you're raising your voice for whatever reason what do you do at that time is also a way to show them the lifestyle that they ought to imbibe from you because because you know you know when they say you're shouting mm -hmm. what's that supposed to do to you remind you it's not to say will you keep quiet i'm talking you're I'm talking, talking back talking. to me do you remember? Okay. And then you show humility by apologizing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you really got me upset. Mm -hmm. That was why I was I'm shouting, shouting, but I wasn't supposed to shout like that. Sometimes, too, even if you don't say it at the time. But first of all, it's supposed to put you in check. Yes. That's why you teach them. Mm. You teach them so all of you will grow up into this thing together. You know, there are also instances where you teach them, they try to put you in check. And for whatever reason you remember, you are not in check. You, because God will also use different people of around course, you to because, put you in check. Because he's still training you. He's still training you. And because you have set your mind on God, on keeping the way of the Lord, which we are still going to talk about in the next episode because our time will soon be up. I will just open that a little and then we'll talk about it later. Keeping the way of the Lord makes you have a vision where you are going as a child of God. Yeah. Now, that was just a detail. We'll still talk about it. So, now, here you are raising tempers and then your child says, you're so, so, so busy this and you're doing this. And then you just shut them up. Later, because it has even happened to me as a mom, later, when you are just alone, this is you that is submitted to God and then the Holy Spirit comes to talk to you. Because remember that your relationship with God is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to just separate from God like that. Maybe you want to pray or you want to sing a song and the Holy Spirit comes. That attitude you displayed that time it was not okay. What do you do? You go back to the child. Yeah. I have realized, don't just settle with the Holy Spirit and say, I'm sorry, Lord, and you stop there. Go to the child. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you that time when you talked to me. I will, I will, I will try not to. It is how can I, how can I apologize, apologize to my, to my child? child? It's not about the child. It's about you. Ooh. When you apologize to your children, humility you. is being, being displayed, displayed by you, you not the child. Yes. And, and humility is a fruit of the spirit. spirit. So you are displaying that I'm a godly person. Mm -hmm. That's just what you're doing. And then your child just sees it. When the child is in that situation, the child will, it will not be a difficult thing for the child to do. What have you done? You but when, when, a, when, a, when a parent don't apologize, you just repeat those things. Yeah. They pick, they pick those children are smart. They pick those things. And they, that that's what they display when they go out. Oh. Apo apologize for what? Or even in the home. They can apologize. Apologize for what? Mm -hmm. That's what they will say. Apologize for insist. what? Insist. Insist. You know. <clears throat> that's just one example. It's a lot. There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> I know. And... I, and our time is almost because I'm thinking about financial decisions. Mm. I'm thinking everything, all marital decision, which is very important where the blessing is concerned. Mm. We're going to talk about that in the next episode. By God's <laughs> grace, as the man of God leads, wow, as the Holy Spirit leads, <laughs> I'm following you as you follow Christ. <laughs> oh, God. thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, you are just so awesome. Thank you, Lord. And we love you for this. Thank you, Jesus. We grow day by day. Mm. And that growth is by your spirit. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So we have liberty to grow. And so also everyone watching and listening to us right now. There is liberty to grow, liberty to change, mm. liberty to fulfill God's purpose mm. in their lives. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And we release mm. that grace to everyone watching. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a fruitful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.